It's just an app. You know, you're just telling the traders, you look, release an app, let people pay each other without involving, you know, the lending industry. Let those guys fend for themselves going forward and, and make the system measurable. without involving the lending industry. Yeah, so, but that would, would that take power away from the banks? Well, yes, it would just force them to just become regular lending companies. You know, banks are lending companies. You know, banks are lending companies. If you're a bank, you are a lending company. That's that's your primary duty as a bank, is to right, be a lending right. firm. And if you want to be in the lending business, if you want to go into the lending business, it's fine. There's, there's no problem with that. But it's how you acquire the cash, which is that issue not here. You know, so banks acquire cash because they store and move money for everybody. And so this is saying that's not how finance works. If you want to be able to raise money for, for your lending business, then you should be doing it because you're producing a competitive rate of return and not just because you're storing and moving money for everyone. If, if you want to start a bank, what you're really doing is saying, I want to be a lending business and I want to get a charter from the government. And so if you're a bank, it's because you received a charter from the government saying that you can store, move, and lend money. Mm. And so this is saying that that's not how finance works. You shouldn't be able to raise money for lending because you're storing and moving. Mm. Storing and moving has nothing to do with an allocated capital. So this is telling the treasurer, release an app, let people store and move money by themselves, and then let them produce, let people who want to go into the lending business produce a competitive rate of return and attract uh, investors privately. Mm. Now, if you release an app and let people store and move money by themselves, mm -hmm. then you force this firm that used to be calling itself a bank uh, to just go out and hunt for the capital like everyone else does, which is, you know, you, you, you produce a competitive rate of return and then you have investors showing up to your door saying, hey, you really know how to lend well because your revenues are greater than your expenses, so I want to offer you more capital. Mm. And so that's what this is ultimately, you know, addressing is that the, the word bank it's it's not a it's not it's it's not a technical word. It's just a legal concept, mm -hmm. which is defined in federal law and says go ahead and be this business model, and uh, you, you're not going to receive economic privilege because uh, you're going to be a lending company that gets to raise money from people who are walking in your door just looking for a vault in a plastic car. Mm -hmm. The reason why the economy doesn't grow is because we're not allocating capital efficiently. And the, and the only way you can allocate capital efficiently is if you're able to measure where the opportunities exist. And so this is saying, look, if you want if you want to optimize the growth of the economy, you have to you have to have capital markets be transparent. You have to have investors be able to see where the opportunities are. And you're not going to achieve that level of visibility unless you systematize the measuring function, so people can say, oh yeah, this is where the returns are, and that's where the returns are, and oh, this is also competitive. And so that that that's the idea here. Class and email. Can I sign for the petition? Yes, of course. A first name, last name, and email address gets you notified of when the petition is published on the White House website. Okay. Check it out later. 